Okay, I'm back and um, those four screws are in place. I did use my uh, small battery operated drill bit. Uh, run on, runs on AAA batteries, general brand. Bought it from Amazon. And that helps screw these little screws in. Matter of fact, that one's not down all the way. All right, um, I noted, uh, so the next thing to do is put the control horn in, and I noted on the control horn here that the uh, pre-drilled holes for the control horn uh, are toward the uh, tip side of the wing, but they're back further, and the control horn arm is not uh, uh, going to sit over the gap. Uh, normally I'd like to have that up, but I see by the design of the add-on you can't do that, so we'll, we'll bow to their knowledge of designing. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, let's see. I think I'll start it with this screwdriver. We'll start the screw into the control horn. see does this work okay you want you want the thing going nice and straight and I want the tip out the tip of the screw out just a little bit so it'll find the three holes so I'm going to put all three um, screws in start them all with a little bit of the tip of the screw out these screws sometimes the screws they select aren't very good it's a screw that has both a slot for a flathead and a um, uh, plus for a Phillips and sometimes neither one of those work very well so uh, we'll see how well it works Usually when that happens, the flat actually works better than the Phillips because the Phillips slips a little. Right. So let me get my Phillips head. Actually, not the Phillips head, the flat head. Um, I'm actually going to use this to do it. And this comes with a real nice uh, set of drill bits or bits. So you got flat and Phillips and and uh, actually a star bit in there too. All right, let's see if that's going to work. Oh, there's two sizes of flat, and uh, actually three sizes of flat and two sizes of Phillips. A Phillips zero and a Phillips one. That's the Phillips one. So I'm going to take the middle size of a of a flat head screwdriver and yeah that should work fine. Okay. So now point the the control horn in the right direction and very carefully without dropping anything onto the And Ron will get this thing started. Nice thing about this electric screwdriver is you can get it in place and then just press the button and away it goes. So the flat 
blade screwdriver is actually working quite well. So I've got all three started. I'm actually going to lift the aileron up here so I can hold it easier and screw these down. Tight. Tighten up the other two. Okay, you don't have to have them super tight, but that's going to be in. It's a really long screw. It's not going to come out the other side. And that's good to go. <clears throat> All right. 